Hello guys, so welcome to the second part of our shortlisting universities video. Okay, so in the last video I told you about uh, what are the criteria you should choose and look forward to while shortlisting universities in which you want to do your masters and PhD and I left it on the note that I'm going to discuss some of the tools which you can use to find out these criteria and find out about the universities so in this video I'm going to tell you about those tools in detail okay so what are the tools so there are three four tools uh, Google is the most common tool and it is a common platform for everything but other than that most more specific things which you can uh, look forward to is qsworlduniversityrankings.com and yocket and usnews.com so these are three uh, websites which you can use and now let us see each of these websites in details and know about their features so that you can later on go on to these websites and see for yourself which universities are best for you so let us start by world qs world university rankings okay so uh, on the home page you can select your study level your subject of interest and your destination so for example let us say let us say we are going for postgraduate that is masters or phd and in the subject of interest uh, we are interested in engineering mechanical all right and uh, in the study destination we put in the most famous destination of all which is United States so let us click on the search here and this is going to show us the topmost universities which are there in the United States for mechanical engineering so there are almost 113 universities which are in the QS world university rankings and they are on the basis of university size and research output and all those things so uh, from starting from number one it is uh, MIT then Stanford Caltech University of Pennsylvania Yale University of Michigan and John Hopkins University of California at Berkeley so all these universities are on the basis of rankings given by this particular site so let us suppose University of Texas Austin which uh, according to this site is at 65th rank so let us open this university tab and see what they have to say about this university so this is a public university with a very high research output and the uh, total number of students and academic faculty uh, information is also there and uh, from uh, they have given a graph for the ranking they have given it scores overall score academic reputation employer reputation and citations per faculty so all these uh, rankings will help you evaluate how good the university is but uh, keep in mind that this is only first of the three tools which we have discussed so let us now move on to the second tool which is the usnews.com and on the home page you will find these tabs and uh, from these tabs you can select education and in the education tab while uh, when you select that you can find these grad school tabs colleges tab online colleges and these tabs so in the grad schools tab you want to if you want to look for engineering schools and you click here and this is going to show you the best engineering schools for 2020 you can uh, see the first three are these and then you can see the full list but you want to find engineering schools which are better for you I mean uh, not all the top ones uh, are easy to get in and you don't want to go into some schools which are not there on the radar so you, you want to go to a fairly good engineering school where research is good and it matches your uh, research interest and uh, the school should also select you based on your academic qualifications and credentials so you want to choose uh, a school for mechanical engineering suppose and a state you don't know which state in USA so you click on the search icon and 181 schools pop up 
So here you can see the first rank is Massachusetts Institute of Technology and then Stanford, University of California, Berkeley, Caltech, Georgia Tech, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, University of Illinois, Cornell, Purdue and Carnegie Mellon. So all these schools are there and uh, on the right hand side information regarding their tuition fee for masters, their enrollment, uh, full time enrollment data and all these things are given. Uh, so you can see like for these topmost schools the tuition fee is also quite high $50,000 per annum that is a lot of money a huge amount of money and uh, for some schools like uh, uh, Georgia Tech uh, it is uh, about $28,568 per annum so uh, you can see two numbers are written here first is the uh, tuition fee for in-state students I mean the residents of Georgia and uh, the uh, other number is the tuition fee for out of the state students so that is also a distinction here and uh, from and from the tools given on the, this left hand side you can adjust this slider to show you the universities which have tuition fee from 0 to 35,000 so that if to match your budget and, and if everything else so it starts from uh, University of California Berkeley Georgia Tech Illinois Cornell Purdue University of Texas Austin so these are some schools which could fall under your budget so that is uh, the importance of funding in this selection process for and shortlisting process for universities so uh, but but the main uh, problem with this site is that this is paid so it will show you some of the data but uh, the other data is logged and you have to buy a subscription for almost $30 in order to unlock that data so if you want to just get a feel of what kind of schools are there uh, which match your uh, pocket uh, range so this is a good tool for that but not that extensive alright so the third tool or uh, and the most extensive one is yocket.in so here you go and make your profile and then you want to find universities uh, for your graduate course so you just click on this tab universities and uh, you go to the graduate school finder so by clicking here on the graduate school finder they would ask you to fill in your details. So, course you want to go mechanical and automobile engineering GRE score 155, 164. I have for uh, just uh, the, just for the purpose to show you this, I have just filled it in here. TOEFL score 109, CGPA this, relevant work experience about two years, technical papers I have put in national because that is, uh, I mean. Uh, people in India generally when they write uh, papers in the undergraduate level some of them do write international papers but many of them write national and uh, most of them don't write any papers so I have just selected the middle uh, the moderate option which is the national level papers if we have published and uh, suppose we give you an SOP rating uh, of 9 and uh, the LOR rating also of 9 and we give you extracurricular rating of 8 and community service rating of 7 so let us just shoot it and find out which universities according to your kit are best for you and this is showing us universities only in the US and uh, basically your kit is a site which is designed uh, uh, mainly targeting the US universities because as you know the US is the uh, first and the foremost choice for most of the people out there so going to this profile now the most ambitious universities uh, which are uh, for this profile is california institute of technology caltech princeton university of illinois at urbana university of michigan at ann arbor purdue georgia tech so these are the universities with the highest uh, amount of credentials required and uh, that kind of profile profile which we just put in is some kind of a lo low profile for these universities so that is why these universities are ambitious and then the moderate universities in which I've already explained you can or cannot that depends on some tweaks and changes you do to your profile so Virginia Tech, Duke University, University of Pennsylvania, University of Wisconsin, University of Massachusetts, University of California, Los Angeles so these are the universities uh, which are moderate for this kind of profile and then there come the safe universities University of uh, Maryland, Michigan State, North Carolina State, Ohio State, University of Florida 
and the University of Colorado Boulder. So these are the universities which are safe. So uh, yeah. So from this you can get an idea what kind of uh, university you have to shortlist and uh, for the research interest now yeah that is another very important criteria for shortlisting universities. So from these three sites you can get a basic idea then you select your universities in which you want to apply from these factors and then you go to the uh, websites of those universities and find out what kind of research work is going on. All right. So. Uh, your kit also provides you a tool for comparison of universities. Suppose uh, uh, you like uh, University of California, Lo Los Angeles, and uh, you also like uh, Georgia Tech Institute of Technology. So let us use this uh, compare universities tool to compare these universities on basis of certain criteria, and let us find out which university suits you best. So I would type in UCLA and it would give me this university then I would uh, type in Georgia Tech so it would take Georgia Tech Georgia Institute of Technology and then I'll compare these universities and uh, yeah so it tells me that UCLA is also a top ranked university in USA and Georgia Tech is also a top ranked university in USA acceptance rate, rate is uh, around 30 percent uh, acceptance rate, rate and this is also 30 percent and the average quant score which they take in GRE is 165 so that is that how is the uh, this how this is the average quant score which you which they take in generally the profiles of the students which apply there all right then let us see the finance which is required so UCLA uh, tuition fee per year is $32,000 and Georgia Tech tuition fee per year is $28,000. Living expenses $8,300 per year. Living expenses in Georgia is $6,600 per year. But that is because UCLA is in California and California is quite an expensive state there. And uh, Georgia Institute of Technology is in Georgia and uh, it is a fairly moderate state to live in. And uh, coming to financial aid, these two universities don't provide that much financial aid to students. But when, when it comes to jobs, you can get very good jobs if you study in these universities because uh, the overview says that these are the top ranked colleges in US. So that is also a criteria for comparison. Now we see the conditions which you uh, will face there. So these both are public universities and uh, location wise also they are good and weather wise now this is something which I have also discussed in the previous video location and the weather you have to if somebody gets affected by it a lot then you would you should see what kind of weather is there so this is the basic comparison of the universities and for further comparison you can just click on this uh, link or, or the name of the university and it will show you the basic information so uh, what is this all about acceptance rate tuition fee living expense average uh, GRE quant score required and uh, the other things which are there related to this university this website is going to show you but not more than that all right so uh, you have to go to the website of the university now to find about the research work which is going on there and that thing your media is going to do for you and uh, will just make videos about different universities and of each type of universities ambitious moderate and safe of all the types of universities I'm going to make videos and show you what kind of research work is going on there and what kind of uh, student diaspora is there and everything else will be in our videos okay so I hope from this uh, video you might be able to know some details about how to shortlist the universities and the tools which you can use so please log on to these websites and use these websites to find out the best universities for you and we are also going to help you after uh, you know some speculation and uh, we'll, we are going to release university specific videos as well so please keep watching and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for all the future updates thank you